This is a mummified tequila lime dry aged steak and we're gonna cut into it. We're starting with a prime grade rib roast. Notice that incredible marbling and well-defined cat muscle. Next, I zested 14 limes. Lots of work, but we're left with this incredible light and fluffy green powder. Thoroughly cover each side of the roast. I made sure to go heavy. This is an experiment and I wanted to give myself the best chance possible of having that lime flavor come through in the final product. Pat that in. Cover in cheesecloth. This is gonna allow the liquid to slowly absorb. Next up, tequila. I used about a half a bottle. Quick reminder of why I don't like tequila shots. Into the dry ager for 40 days. The first thing I noticed was the mild and pleasant smell of key lime pie. Opening it up, the lime zest has completely dried a perfectly dry aged piece of beef. Slicing into it, I could barely contain my excitement. Notice how the marbling has become even more pronounced and check out the striking contrast between the red and that vivid green. The outer rind was relatively thin, which is what we want. Removing the outside bark is necessary anytime you dry age. So I was extremely interested to see if any of those lime and tequila flavors had penetrated. I seasoned with just salt and seared over high heat. Keep in mind that dry aged steaks sear and cook a lot faster than a fresh steak. After a quick butter baste, this is the result. Right off the bat, I knew we were in for a treat. We had a super thick crust, but the meat sliced through like butter. The smell of dry age and lime was extremely apparent before we even tried it. After dry aging for 40 days, the steak has become significantly more tender, the beefiness becomes concentrated, and develops a distinct dry age flavor. The fat has reached a texture that melts in your mouth, and combined with that lime flavor, truly reminded us of key lime pie. Mm. Wow, crazy combination, that is incredible. 